now let's calculate for the next layer so we have completed for the this layer as well so hidden layer one is also uh, so these weights so this layer weights also calculated so w5 w6 now we calculate for w1 so now if we go for error with respect to w1 so first part will be w1 to h11 to sigma of h11 let's calculate so this will be this applying the chain rule this is again h sigma of h11 is contributing to h21 and h22 so is equal to so first part will be So it is going to H21. The same way it will go for H22. Do you know any of this? Yes, we calculated it in the last layer, right? So derivative of L with respect to H21 is actually 11.05. So this is directly 0 0.1105. This one you know you have already calculated. So this will be this part. So it will be 0 0.1682 and what will be the last part so this you have not calculated yet so let's calculate it it's very easy now because you know how to do it so you just need to break down h22 right H22 is actually sigma of H11 into W6 plus plus b1 right so it will be taking other thing as constant so we are doing partial derivative so it will be w6 is equal to 0 0.6 so overall it will be 0 0.6 so this is the first portion and the second portion do you know this yes we have already calculated it So this one is actually this, right? 
so it will be directly this and the second portion also you calculated right so derivative of sigma of h22 with respect to h22 you already calculated so it will be 0 0.1488 the last portion you have not done yet so let's calculate the last portion So it will be actually H21. So this will be W5 sigma and this will be W7. So this will be actually W5. So is equal to 0 0.5. Sorry, this is very long, long one. So I am doing mistakes. So now H22 will be calculated with respect to sigma of H11. So it will be sigma of H11. 1 1 and then we have the other one that we have already written so it will be actually w6 is equal to 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 and this will be actually 0 0.5 so it will be at the end this portion will be 0 0.0092 and this portion will be minus 0 0.0003 so at the end it will be 0 0.0089 so now come back to our original calculation so you know now this portion right because you have calculated this so this is actually 0 0.0089 what about this portion so it is very easy so sigma of h11 into 1 minus sigma of h11 so let's write it here And you know the value it is 0 0.66 into 1 minus 0 0.66 is equal to 0 0.66 into 0 0.4 into 0.44 I think 3 4 now you don't know the last portion what will be this one right so let's keep it like this what will be the last portion so this is for this portion now let's come back to derivative of h11 with respect to w1 so it's very simple derivative of w1 i'm breaking down h11 so h11 is actually w1 x1 plus w3 x2 w1 x1 plus w3 x2 so it will be x1 so is equal to 0 0.3 right so x1 is equal to 0 0.3 so just putting it here it is 0 0.3 so calculating it is a very low value you can almost ignore well just to calculate so what will be the next value of w1 approximately you can say this is 
zero point zero nine nine. So now we have back propagated and calculated till the last layer. Okay, so that is how the back propagation is calculated, and you just follow the steps and you can derive it for any neural network. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the next portion. So where I discuss the L1 and L2 derivative in back propagation. Thank you so much.